Should we guide a friend or someone we know to a spiritual path if the other is suffering? Or if we think the spiritual path would help them? Or should we just trust the universe to help them find it somehow? Or should we rather just let the person find it or seek it themselves? Like some say one has to be ready to be on this path and this cannot be forced on them. Yeah, correct. We can't force it on people, can we? Um, and you certainly can't force someone to awaken, right? Um, you know, the harder thing to understand or admit is that people are uh, sort of swimming in their own dirt. And uh, if you offer them a rope and say, okay, come on, you can come out, um, they'll say, no, I want to be in this dirt. <laughs> uh of course, they don't understand that they're making that choice because of a lack of consciousness. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So if we force them out of it, if we try to f grab the person and say, you need to get out of this dirt because it's destroying you, then they're going to they're gonna hate you for that. And they're going to, and, and if you say it's in the name of God or it's in the name of spirituality, then, uh, they, then you're damaging that person because then they're going to hate the idea of God. They're going to hate the idea of spirituality. So it's a very careful process um, if you really want to help that person. Um, rather than trying to be spiritual, try to be more authentic, which means observing the moments, uh, the present moments, of, of that person and simply giving them undivided, unconditioned, non-judgmental attention. Now, that is usually more healing than trying to uh, impose your own beliefs or impose your own doctrines onto a person. So you can go about this very just gently, really, you know, before spirituality is considered, uh, I think it's important first to just consider human uh, methods, such as, you know, good uh, therapists and counsellors and psychologists, what they're able to do, which is just to simply listen to someone. We often, most people, it's very rare to find individuals who know how to listen to someone in a very deep and intimate way because we don't we don't know how to listen to ourselves. So you first offer that, offer your your undivided attention as a friend, as a human being. And if you can just make uh, little uh, suggestions here and there, you know, have you heard of meditation? Have you heard of uh, prayer? Or maybe ask um you know, do you think this is something to do with uh, your your hate for religion if that person is, is suffering because of that? Um, and then it's not so much you need to impose your own beliefs about your religion, but simply listening to them and let them un unfold. Uh, like What is very common in, in this society is that most people just lack encouragement to to grow uh, some people just need encouragement it's it's scary how many parents don't encourage their children positively these days or and it's scary how many people just don't listen to uh each other these days you know i know i know a lot of families who the parents are just not conscious. They're not there for their kid, even though they might be in the next room all the time. They're never there for their child because they're so preoccupied with their own concerns about themselves because they're always in self-pity and they have so much self-importance that they're not really a parent. They're just there uh, materially uh, looking after their, their child. So, uh, yes, small suggestions here and there about uh, spiritual topics. If you detect that there is any uh, resistance towards those ideas, then immediately don't continue uh, with that idea and just offer what you can. All you can do is offer what you can to the best of your ability. If the person uh, still isn't helping themselves, then 
not much you can do. And uh, like you said, you just uh, trust the universe to help them find it somehow. And they will. The universe has its ways. Uh, what is the universe's uh, way to help someone find their own path? It is called suffering. And you let that person suffer. Uh, just like in meditation, we try to ignore our own suffering, don't we? Well, and we try to get away from it, but, uh, and we think when we see someone else suffering, we think it's a, a bad thing and, um, and we feel sorry for them, but suffering is necessary, especially if one isn't following a spiritual path, right? One of the first thing my, my Gnostic teacher taught me is that, uh, there are two ways to wisdom. The first way is through pain and suffering. And if we do that our whole life, we, we have pain and suffering, we gather uh, just a little bit of uh, wisdom, maybe like one gold bar. Uh, the other way to wisdom is through walking a spiritual path, which is, and then, which is without uh, pain and suffering. And we also accumulate uh, hundreds of gold bars. So, yeah. People will, people will always suffer if they if they are not re generally following or if they don't generally have a sense of uh, s positive spirituality integrated in into their own life. So allow them to suffer. It's okay. <laughs> it's just the process of life.